Hi, I'm Tony Keith, the Christmas light guy. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to wire and build a simple enclosure using PVC pipe for your ES pixel sticks. First, if you don't know what an ES pixel stick is, let me show you and do a quick explanation. The ES pixel stick version three is a Wi-Fi pixel and DMX single output controller built around the ESP8266 platform. Let me show you. The ES Pixel Stick supports E131 and DDP over wireless networks. It can control up to four universes of pixel data, 680 WS2811s or WS2812 pixels or 63 GECE pixels. It can control one universe or 512 channels of DMX with the onboard DMX 512 support. It can be powered with 12 volts to 24 volts DC. I use my pixel sticks in my holiday display and they work great. So now let's take a look at how to wire the ES pixel stick for controlling pixels. Here is a wiring diagram of the ES Pixel Stick wired to control pixels. This is looking at the ES Pixel Stick from the back side. Let's start with the power supply. The power supply must be from 5 volts to 24 volts DC. The negative from the power supply is connected to the VN negative, and the positive is connected to the VN positive. One important note the power supply voltage must match the pixel voltage. That means if your pixels are 5 volts, then the power supply must be 5 volts. Or if your pixels are 12 volts, then the power supply must be 12 volts. On the output side of the connector, the V positive connects to the VCC on the pixels, the D positive to the data N, usually labeled DN, and the V minus connects to the ground. The negative or the D negative terminal is not connected in this case. Now we've had a look at how to wire the ES pixel stick. I want to share with you a quick and easy enclosure that I built using PVC pipe. Let's take a look at the parts list and tools you will need. First, you will need a three inch piece of one and a quarter inch schedule 40 PVC pipe like this. Next, you will need two one and a quarter inch Schedule 40 end caps like this. Next, you will need a pigtail with your favorite connector X Connect, Rei Wu, Paul Zhang, etc. Next, you will need a power connector, whatever your favorite type is. I happen to use this type. Next, you will need a cable gland, either PG7 or PG9, depending on your pigtail and power cable size. Optionally, you may need glue or clear silicone to seal the cable gland hole. You may also want to label your enclosures with host name or IP address. I use tape and a permanent marker. The tools required for this project are a drill and a bit for the cable gland and a small screwdriver for the wire terminals. Now we've seen how to wire an ES Pixel Stick and a parts list, let's take a look at a finished product. Here's my enclosure. Notice I drilled a hole in the end cap for the cable gland. In this case, I used a, a PG7 cable gland. It was large enough for my pigtail and for my power connector. Also notice that I labeled my unit with tape and a permanent marker. Now let's take a look at what's inside. There's really nothing inside other than the wires and the ES pixel stick. If you've enjoyed this tutorial and would like to see more, please subscribe to my channel, The Christmas Light Guy.